Hi there, mom and dad. Are you wondering about allergic rhinitis in kids? Ang anak mo ba ay na-diagnose ng doctor with an allergic rhinitis? Madami ka bang tanong? Gusto mo bang malaman kung anong mga triggers ng allergic rhinitis? Namamana ba ito? Ano bang pwede mong gawin? Well, in today's Ask Me Anything episode, I will answer your top 10 most common questions on allergic rhinitis in children. So, so let's get started. First question, what is allergic rhinitis? Well, it is also known as hay fever. It is an allergic reaction that happens when your child's immune system overreacts to the allergens, releasing chemicals such as histamine and other chemicals, and in turn causes the symptoms of allergic rhinitis such as sneezing, runny nose, stuffy nose, itchy eyes, and watery eyes. Number two, what causes allergic rhinitis in children? Allergic rhinitis is due to allergens. So these allergens are triggers which can include one, pollen, number two, dust mites, and also pet dander, so be wary of your pets. It can also be due to molds, spores, and cockroach droppings. So when a child with a, a sensitive immune system inhales these allergens, their body releases histamine and other chemicals that which in turn causes your child's allergic rhinitis symptoms. Number three, so how is allergic rhinitis diagnosed in children? So paano ba na diagnose sa mga doctor yung allergic rhinitis? So your doctor would do a thorough medical history, would do a physical examination on your child, and sometimes allergy testing may be needed which will be in the form of a skin prick test or blood test in some cases to identify your child's specific allergens. Number four, so what are the common symptoms of allergic rhinitis in children? Ano ba ang mga symptoms? Well, first is frequent sneezing, haching ng haching, and also runny or congested nose, itchy eyes, is a common symptom or sometimes watery eyes and also dark circles around the eyes. These are the common signs and symptoms of allergic rhinitis. Number five, so how can allergic rhinitis be treated in children? The first and most important part of treatment of allergic rhinitis is to avoid allergens and medications that are used for allergic rhinitis are in the form of antihistamines, nasal corticosteroids, decongestants, and leukotriene inhibitors. This is something that you need to discuss with your pediatrician. Some cases, kids may need allergy immunotherapy or allergy shots, which is monitored by an allergologist. Number six, are there home remedies or lifestyle changes that can help manage allergic rhinitis? Yes, mom and dad, may magagawa po kayo sa bahay to help avoid your child's uh, allergic rhinitis triggers. So for one, you should you can use air purifiers at home. If it is Pol um, there is high pollen or it is a high pollen season, keep your windows closed. And it is also recommended that you wash your beddings regularly in hot water. And you can also use dust mite proof covers on pillows and mattresses. Pet dander is a trigger, so keep the pets out of the child's bedroom are important to reduce your child's symptoms. Number seven, well, can allergic rhinitis lead to other health problems? You mean, pwede bang magkaroon ng complication? Yes, there can be complications that might arise from allergic rhinitis. Commonly, it can lead to sinus infections or ear infections, 
the child may have sleep disturbances as well. And if your child has asthma, there may be worsening asthma symptoms. Number eight, is allergic rhinitis hereditary? Well, allergic rhinitis tends to run in families, yes. So especially in a family with what is interrelated is asthma, allergic rhinitis, and eczema. So if the parents both have allergic rhinitis, the child has the tendency to have allergic rhinitis as well. Number nine, how can I differentiate between allergic rhinitis and a common cold? This is a good question because symptoms of common cold are similar to that of allergic rhinitis. Halos pareho lang na may sneezing, runny nose, itchy eyes. But in a common cold, it usually goes away or resolves in a week up to 10 days. But if the symptoms are that of allergic rhinitis, it may persist and can take much longer. All right, and also, you can predict the pattern of an allergic rhinitis, like it is seasonal. For example, if it is high pollen season, your child will have these symptoms. And the symptom of itchy and watery eyes are less common with a common cold and more common with allergic rhinitis. Number 10, when should I take my child to see a doctor for allergic rhinitis? So yes, you should bring your child to the pediatrician to be evaluated if your child's symptoms are severe, if it persists despite the over-the-counter medications that you have been giving, and if you notice that your child's allergic rhinitis interfere with his or her sleep, daily activities, or if your child now has complications like a sinus infection or ear infection. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.